Ring around the rosy Bucket full of posies Ashes, ashes We all fall down What? 
at this great party. And then I end up here. Ew. Well, hello, <laughs> ladies. Especially <laughs> you. Yeah. Well, who might you be, handsome? Handsome? Oh, handsome. oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. stop it. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> handsome, that's right. Uh, they, they call me the man <laughs> of your wildest dreams. <laughs> But you can go ahead and just call me handsome. That, that's fine. <laughs> but you see, I've come to spend the rest of eternity <laughs> for one reason. And that's to help you have fun. <laughs> fun for all of eternity. Well, who ever said hell was a place of torment? Uh. I mean, look at him. Does he look scary to you? I, I knew it. Hell really is a party. I don't know about that. <sighs> well, you stay here being all scared. And I'm going to have a great time. Hi. What was your name again? Louis. <laughs> Whoa. Why is it so dark all of a sudden? Hey, don't worry. Just trust me. Trust you? You know what? I've trusted a lot of guys in my past. How do I know where you're taking me? <laughs> Since when were you concerned about what kind of guy I am? That never stopped you before. Wait a minute, how do you know that? You know what, I'm not going anywhere with you. Hey, do you want to have a good time or not? You need to trust me. I'm just scared. You know what, I'm starting to get sick of your whining. Ow, you're hurting me, stop it. What's the matter? I'm so hurt by your lack of trust here. I'm sorry, it's, it's just so dark and I... What's the matter, dog face? Can't handle my devilish good looks? You like bad boys so much, huh? Well, guess what? You've got five for all eternity. What's going on? No, Lori, you have to wake up. Just wake up. You're gonna wake up. Just wake up. Come on. Don't even bother. Who said that? Over here. Who are you? No, 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 don't worry. I'm not one of those demons. I'll tell you that. I'm a person just like you. Okay. So, do you know where we are? Are you serious? You don't know where we are? Hasn't anyone told you about hell? Hell? No way. Hell doesn't exist. <laughs> then what else is this? Where do you think we are? I don't know. It has to be a figment of our imagination, a dream or something. <laughs> you, you wish. If this was a dream, then why haven't you woken up yet? Trust me. I've been down here a lot longer than you, even though it doesn't seem that way. Ah, help me! Somebody help me! 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 Not what they're doing to him. It's what he's done to himself. See that guy? He wasted his whole entire life drinking, and now he's suffering the consequences. Wait a minute, drinking? But isn't alcohol supposed to make you feel good? I hope was, I did it. It helped me forget my problems, and it was fun. Feel good? Take a look around you. There is no good down here. Not anymore. Good no longer exists because we've been separated from God. My best friend, he used to tell me about this place all the time. But I never listened to him. And now it's too late. Well, how come no one ever told me? Wait, 
Crystal? Lori, do you know where you're gonna go when you die? Nowhere, Crystal. We just die, that's it. No, Lori, it's either heaven or hell. Oh, please, I've heard this before. Look, I appreciate the gesture, but I don't believe in God. Lori, whether you believe or not, it doesn't matter. If you die without Jesus, you're going to hell. Oh, come on, Crystal. Do you really believe that superstition? It's just a scare tactic. I don't believe it. Was she right? I knew it. Someone told you. You should have listened to them. Just like I should listen to my friend, too. I still don't accept this. Well, you're going to have to. Just look at us. Face it, we all rejected God. That's why we're here. We had the chance to accept him, but we didn't. What kind of God would create a place like this? What? What are you talking about? What kind of God? No God would create a place like this for us. He would have created it for the devil and his demons. This place is what it's like without God. Stupid us. We rebelled just like the devil. Look where it got us. Ah! Please! Please don't let them hurt my baby! Please. Baby? What baby? Please, what are you talking stop. about? There is no Protect baby. Me. What? Mommy? Why did you hurt me, Mommy? Baby, I didn't mean it. The doctors, they said you wouldn't feel anything. It did, Mommy. It hurt me. Why did you do this to me? Well, Mommy, now you'll get to know how it feels. What was that? Was that her child down here? No, that's... That thing is no child. That, that's a demon. And it's been tormenting her over and over and over again because she's, she murdered her baby. What's wrong with this place? <clears throat> Look, all I know is each person gets tortured according to how they live their lives. I remember my, my friend telling me that God's son made a way for us to be forgiven. But we rejected him. And now we have to pay. Pay? How? How do we pay? Don't you get it? Haven't you figured it out yet? We can't. It's too late. It's hopeless. So now we'll be tormented for all of eternity. So, <laughs> what happens if I committed suicide? <laughs> no. What is that? No, not again. No. No. Get out of here. Go. Just go. All right. Go. Stop lying. 
And you know, Lori, I really can't blame you for killing yourself. <laughs> Especially after all the hell I put you through. <laughs> what? You mean that was you? What? You mean that was you? Duh! <laughs> Looks like someone's starting to finally wake up. <laughs> hey, remember this little girl? <laughs> hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, my birthday girl. Where are we going? Are you taking me somewhere? Sorry, Laurie. I'm going somewhere tonight. We'll do something later this week. But, Mommy, it's my birthday. How come you're never home? You always leave me. Now don't talk to me like that, Lori. Just because I had you by accident doesn't mean I have to let you ruin my life. <laughs> oh, poor little Lori. <laughs> Please, I don't want to live through this again. Please. <laughs> no, no, no. We're just getting started. <laughs> just when you thought things couldn't possibly get any worse. Jesus, if you're real, please help me. My mommy is always mean to me, and she's never here. She tells me I ruined her life. Can you please tell mommy I didn't mean to? <laughs> Not fair! <laughs> How could you? a beautiful touch, if I do say so myself, <laughs> especially after that adorable, cute little prayer. <laughs> oh, but I really love what happens next. There you will, there you go again. <laughs> Mama's gone again, <laughs> just like she always does, leaves you with the babysitter. <laughs> oh, and then that frightful night <laughs> when you got the news. <laughs> Here, let me show you how it went. <laughs> Knock, knock, knock! <clears throat> oh, hello, officer! How can I help you? <laughs> Hi, ma'am! We've come to confiscate that little brat off your hands! <laughs> oh, my! What happened? <laughs> oh, you know, your drunken mommy was drunk behind the wheel again, and then... <laughs> boom! Bye-bye, <laughs> mommy! <laughs> Where was God? God? <laughs> Where was he when I called out to him? Nowhere! How can he allow my mom to die like that? How can he take her away from me? I needed her! <laughs> there you go as usual. Blaming God. I am sick and tired of getting all the credits. <laughs> hmm. And really, he never tried to get your attention? Never? Not once? He did it! He... Oh, wait. Boop. Crystal. Ah. Elaine. No! Elaine. Oh. <laughs> that little brat, I am sure glad you didn't listen to her. <laughs> Let's replay that moment, shall we? No, Lori. Hell is worse than you can ever imagine. Please just consider giving your life to Jesus. He'll heal you of all the pain. He doesn't promise a perfect life with no problems, but he does promise to go with you through your problems. Okay, okay, Lane. I know you mean well and everything, but I just can't. I can't believe in God. That's right, Lori. You tell that ignorant religious nut. <laughs> Why didn't I listen to her? <laughs> She was always trying to warn me about this place. She did. Why is this happening to me? There you go as usual. Such a selfish little girl. See, that's your problem. Only thinking about yourself. You really didn't think that your actions would have an effect on anyone else? <laughs> your foster parents? <laughs> Lizzie? Oh, oh, you do remember Lizzie. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing right now. Lori, why did you leave me here all alone? What if, what if Lori's right? 
What if she really is at peace now? I could be like her. I could join her. <laughs> no! Lizzie, no! No, someone's gonna tell her! Please let somebody tell her! No, no, no. Somebody tried to tell her, remember? Lori, you know, Elena's been inviting us out to church a lot. And I've been thinking, why don't we try? Wait a minute. You can't be really considering this. I mean, church? Yeah, Lori, why not? No, Lizzie, we're not going. But Lori, what if... Listen, sis, it's time you stop believing in fairy tales, okay? There is no God. Hi, Elaine. I'm sorry I can't make it. Maybe another time, okay? <laughs> no! Lizzie, please! Don't listen to that! Please go to church! Accept Jesus! Hey! No! no! <laughs> Don't you dare shoot that man down here! It's okay, okay. Don't worry about your sister Lizzie. Soon, she'll be mine, just like you! <laughs> oh, say, weren't you wondering about what happens to those who commit suicide? <laughs> well, let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Wait for it. Wait for it. No! Oh. I, I didn't die! No! no. Duh! Didn't you figure that out the first time? Not very bright, is she? <laughs> oh. Are you dead yet? Oh. How about now? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Get up! Here, you try. <laughs> now, now, now. Not in my house. No! Guys. No! 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 <laughs> Lori, Lori, Lori. You try to get out of all your problems by committing suicide. <laughs> well, let's see you try to get out of this one, honey. You're in for one hell of a show.
Dear Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, I want you to know that I will always be grateful to you both for taking in Lori and me. You need to understand that I can't live any longer without my best friend. She may not have realized it, but I loved her so much, just as if she was my real sister. I understand that this may cause both of you great grief, but please know that we won't be hurting anymore. This is so hard. Lori, why did you leave me here alone? Lizzie, what do you do? Lizzie, please, it's no. not worth it. Lady, don't please, do this. No, leave me alone. Please let me do it. Please. Lizzie, please. Don't do this. If you do this, it'll be, it won't get any better. It'll be worse than you can ever imagine. Just please give me the gun. You don't understand. It hurts. I want to join Lori. I want to be like her. Lizzie, please. Lori is not in a better place. Just give me the gun. What about... to know and you to never ever find out take her to hell take her no 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 remember there is no Hell, there is no life after death. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the, your visit, you're here and you're visiting, you came to see this production, we want to say thank you so much for coming out. But before we bring this uh, production to a conclusion, tonight what you see, it's a skit, but one day will take place in your life. See, the Bible says that it's appointed unto a man to die once, and after that, it's the judgment. My friend, tonight what you see is a skit. It ain't nothing compared to what hell is really is. Tonight, some of you even wish this would be hell. But see, the Bible describes hell as a lake of fire, a place of eternal torment where day and night you're, you're being tormented where the worm never dies. And tonight, that's where half of us is sitting tonight. But see, there is hope tonight. See, 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came died upon that cross so that you and me, we don't have to go to hell. So that you and I, we don't have to go to hell, but rather make heaven our home. See, tonight the simple gospel is this. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to die for you and me. So that you and I, we can have eternal life with Jesus. See, my friend, tonight what you see is a skit. Will one day take place, you're going to be standing before God. And God is going to judge you on your, the way you've been living your life here on earth. But tonight, you can't escape that way. You can't escape hell only by accepting Jesus Christ into your heart. If I can't have every head bow and every eyes closed just for a moment. <clears throat> tonight, before we bring this to a conclusion, we want to give you an opportunity. An opportunity for you to accept Jesus Christ into your heart. See, April 11, 2011... This decision was put before me. And I had, to, I had accepted Jesus Christ into my heart. Why? Because I was a young teenager, suicidal. I was lost in my own sin, had no purpose in life. I didn't have a meaning in life. What was the whole point of living if all I felt was pain? These were the thoughts that kept running through my mind. But see, someone shared me the gospel of Jesus, that there is somebody that loves you and I. That there is somebody that died upon that cross so that you can make heaven your home. And that person, that somebody is Jesus. And maybe some of you are sitting down. Maybe your life can relate. Maybe you're, at this very moment, you've been contemplating of suicide. You've been thinking of it. Tonight, Jesus is here to forgive you of your sin. Jesus loves you so much that tonight he has placed you another opportunity for you to make a choice tonight. The choice you will make today will determine your tomorrow. That tonight, all across this place, 
without a shadow, there's a lot of visitors here. Maybe you never accepted Jesus Christ into your heart. But tonight you want to make that choice. You want to accept Jesus into your heart. With an uplifted hand, just simply raising up your hand saying, you know what? I want to give my life to Jesus. If that's you in this place, you can go ahead and lift up your hand in this place. All across this building. I see hands is going up in the front. Anybody else, join these honest hearts. Don't be ashamed. Don't, maybe on one moment you knew Jesus in your heart, but you turn away. Tonight, Jesus Christ is calling you back home. More hands are going up. Anybody else in this place want to join these honest hearts? Don't be ashamed. Don't, be, don't worry about what other people are going to think. Because tonight, you will stand before God by yourself. I'm st there's still time. People are raising their hand. Yes, a lot of hands are going up. Those, and, those that raise your hand, if you will, can do one more thing. If you can, can come down here and join me in the front. All those that raise your hand, if you can go ahead and raise your, uh, your stand and come down and meet me in the front. If we can't please everybody else, we can stand in this place. Maybe I did not see you raise your hand. Maybe you didn't raise your hand, but you feel that tug on your heart that you need to come down here, that you need to accept Jesus Christ. See, my friend, it doesn't matter how young you are or how old you are. A life is like a vapor of smoke. It can be gone in the, within the next couple of minutes. And we stand before God, not ready. Tonight you can. Yes, come and join. All, uh, you didn't raise your hand, but you know you have to come down here. Please come down. We're not going to hold this much longer. Jesus is calling you tonight. Amen. All right, these, those that are here at the, at the altar, we're going to pray. What you're going to pray is not a magical prayer. We're not going to pray a magical prayer, but simply as if you're talking to a real father saying, Father, forgive me. But I'm going to lead you into this prayer, and I want you guys to repeat it after me. But I want you to mean it with all your heart. Because only then, when you mean it with all your heart, God is going to come and he's going to forgive you of your sin. Some of you might even feel an instant change, like you feel something different. And some of you might be later, but tonight... Know that your sin is going to be forgiven and you're going to make heaven your home. If I can have every head bow and every eyes closed. And we're going to repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear Lord Jesus. Everybody loud. Say, dear Lord Jesus. I thank you so much. That you died upon that cross. For my sin. And I believe. That you resurrected and tonight, I accept you into my heart as my Lord and as my Savior. Wash my sins away and make me a brand new person. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. There's a couple of people all around you. Please just, uh, don't move. Those are here at the altar. There's some people going to be going on passing out a couple of paper and a pen. This is simply just to get your information so that when we have upcoming event, we want to give you an invitation to come back out once again. So there's a couple of uh, people are going to be walking around and giving you guys a piece of paper and a pen. Uh, we want to thank you so much again. Thank the crew that uh, put this production together. Uh, thank you guys to visitors for coming out tonight. This production would have uh, been nothing without you guys. We're so thankful for you guys for coming tonight.